hello and welcome back to another video on the channel now my best top 11 training series came to an end in the last video so i thought to myself hmm how about helping people understand how to get the rest packs to train up these players because they are in that chip now if you do not know what rest packs are they're those three things that add condition to your players and are essential basically in power training in my opinion Rest packs are the most important currency in the game. Please let me know between tokens or rest packs, what is the most valuable currency in the game? So the challenge for this video is how many rest packs are we going to be able to collect in 30 days? And I am going to mathematically break this down so that you understand where they come from. So first and foremost, we have ads or advertisements. You get to watch 25 of these every day and to be precise, every 24 hours. So in 30 days, you are getting about 750 rest packs. And this basically makes up like 80% of the rest packs you can actually get for free. Moving on to gifts from friends. Now, every day you have the ability to send and receive rest packs from your friends. Well, if you have any. If you do not have any friends, I suggest you join Iceman's Discord server or any Facebook Top 11 group and friend request as many people as you can. Basically, you need around 100 to 200 friends to get at least a rest pack daily. So in 30 days, you get 30 rest packs from friends. It's not much, but it adds up in the end. So moving on to events. Now, Top 11 has different events whereby they feature rest packs among their rewards. However, some events give more rest packs compared to others. For example, the most recent event, the Champions Tour, gave only 3 rest packs, while King of Kings gives about 25 from the second stage. The only problem with events is that you actually have to win an event to get the rewards. So, moving on to the next way how you can actually get rest packs are uh, substitution. So, this is simple just attend your match, make a substitution, and boom you get a rest pack now you can take an extra step and do friendlies to get more rest packs if you can do at least one match and two friendlies you can get three rest packs daily that's 90 rest packs in 30 days however you need either an extra 11 or an extra account to be able to pull this off so an extra 11 so that you do not waste the condition when you're starting 11 and have them perform poorly on your important matches However, if you have another account, you can start friendly on that other account and then you come back to this account and just make the substitutions. That way, the condition loss from the friendly is on your other account and not on your main account where you need the rest box. So moving on to daily login rewards. So this gives you five assured rest box weekly and if you're lucky, you can get more. So in 30 days, you're getting a minimum of 20 from this. Moving on to special sponsor. You can get rest box from special sponsor. Not that no one didn't know but if you value your money and make financially sound decisions you get only five rest packs from special sponsor if you're like me you get the entire 28 now the next avenue where you can get rest packs is associations so apart from the matches the rewards are not really worth it because you get a maximum of five rest packs when you win the association tournament every weekend if you're capable of winning all four you get 20 rest packs if you attend all the matches and make substitutions you get an extra 16 rest packs a month moving on to the final important way in which you can get rest packs that you can turn your tokens into rest packs in the in the shop like a true businessman i would suggest you save up your tokens and buy the highest amount of rest packs on all occasions because it's better mm. Even that you're a beginner or a casual gamer and yeah, you're selling your TV rights to Nordius. I mean, can you be trash in your game? That's a debate for another time. In 30 days, you'll be able to get 30 tokens. But if you're like me and you always go for so fast score and win events, gathering 11 tokens per season is a reasonably achievable feat. So that can easily be 120 rest packs in 30 days. Now, there's a bonus method, but I highly don't recommend it, and that's using real wild money to buy tokens and then convert those tokens to rest packs. Personally, I don't do this because I'm broke. Now, let's see how many rest packs we can get in a month. So from ads with collecting 750, from gifts 30, from events 15, from attendance 90, from daily login rewards we are getting 20, from special sponsor 28 
and from associations we are getting 36 so in total we're going to be getting 960 wow 969 rest packs and that's a pretty solid number if you're following my training schedules you can probably get a nice front three from that and to work for you for five six seasons so yeah i think it's more than worth it if you use this information and gather this much rest packs for yourself now that brings us to the end of the video drop a like and subscribe if you learned something new or enjoyed the content now if i missed anything let me know in the comment section below and as always it's your boy the witch doctor stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace